All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, listen to me, man. This is going to be an interesting video today, man. At one side, we got the 2K community at its height. And on the other side, some people are going to say we're at the lowest point. Look, man, I get exactly what everybody's saying in every situation and all that good stuff. And, and we're going to talk about all of it. Also, we put the poll up, and you guys have been very active in the poll, man. We're going to pull up some of that data and all of that good stuff, man. And we're going to get right into it, man. If y'all don't do nothing, make sure y'all like the video, man, because it helps us get to that oh-so-covered 100K, man. And I, I just want to, let's just get right into it. Make it to C25, that's OG status I was told you could be anything, just don't be average Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head Alright man, check it out bro, first things first, I pop it, freaks Oh, listen bro, I want to show y'all this right here man, listen The people in the 2K community, it's so crazy, it's so fickle, it's so it's so this it's so that man like we just have to sometimes you got to sit back and, and think take things in perspective let me show you all this video right here bro we got your boy duke dennis d wade you know he, he's on duke on tv he got d wade critiquing the jump shot and all this stuff and all that. He said uh according to d according to d wade duke probably has the best art out of uh, everybody, but his celebration has him hesitant or what have you. I don't exactly know what's going on, man. It looks like it's gonna be a shooter showdown or whatever. You know, you got the House of Highlights uh, showdown, 100K knock, knock, knockout royale, and uh, you know you are gonna have everybody going against each other, man. Yo, hey, my my favorite is Angry Black Man right here, cause if he don't get it. He gonna whoop somebody. Hey, why they always got there? Uh, my boy playing the angry black man and all the skits, man. But look, that's who I got. Um, that's who I got right there, man. I, I think I think this is who gonna win it, man. I done seen him. But look at look at this, man. This is what I want people to understand. I understand that we got people in the 2K community that are upset with the game, don't like the game, don't want to play it, don't want to do this and that. That's all cool. Do whatever you want to. Like Devin the dude say, hey, Devin the dude said, do what the f you want to do yeah come on say what the f you want to say yeah that's what Devin the dude said do it but let's not but forget not where you came from look Duke is an entertaining character Duke is a great guy all that good stuff but without 2k are you Duke and you sure you're surely not on you know what I'm saying that's why I like the fact that he always acknowledges look I rock with 2K, I really understand that this is what got me where I am and I'm never gonna forsake 2K. I mean, he don't talk down about it and stuff like that, he just play the game. If he don't like it, he don't play or whatever. But that's what I can appreciate him, about him. He don't just talk trash about the game, throw salt on the game, salt the earth, burn the earth, because he knows he himself came out of one of the 2Ks that everybody said was one of the worst or whatever. He don't want to take that opportunity away from other people, like a lot of other content creators, he's just the worst ever. Listen, Duke, Tassino, Joe Knows, all them guys came out of 2K18 and 2K19, and these are some of the 2Ks that a lot of people thought was the worst. Literally thought were the worst 2Ks to, to ever be out there, but look, Look, they came out of it, they persevered, they did the thing. And that's what I'm saying. Like I like I said, without 2K, you're not in this shooter showdown. You're not on not with D Wade. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? So he understands exactly where he came from. That's why he don't be bad mouthing and bashing 2K. He just say, you know what, I play the game some, I don't. And and it is what it is. I like I said, that's one thing that I just can't stand though. Like we got to realize this is what we came out of. Sports. We love sports. This is why we play this game. This is why we keep playing the game. I know my basketball days is over with. I done played ball at, at, at a lot of levels. My knees won't let me do it anymore. This is all I got. This is, ain't all I had. But, bro, this is all I got right now. <laughs> I can't play nothing else. That don't mean that I'm going to tell you this game is good when it's not. Because I got an Xbox and I have an awesome computer and I can play any game that I want to. And I'm playing all of the games that I want to. And maybe that's why... I, I feel like that about 2K because I just don't take it that seriously. If you're taking it seriously and you mad because somebody hit a 58% white in your face and you actually lose the game off of that, I get it. But when somebody hits some crazy stuff here and there but you're still beating them by 30, to me that's not a big deal. And that's what I'm saying. I play Call of Duty. You know, like I said, um, I play a lot of Call of Duty. I play a lot of everything, man. So to me, it, it's not really, uh, uh, it's not really 
an issue to me when crazy stuff happens. You understand what I'm saying? When crazy stuff happens, I just gloss over it and be like, you know, uh, be like, whatever, man. And that kind of brings us ne to the next thing what we got, man, with Joe Noah says, what I've learned from playing Comp Pro-Am the last two weeks on Next Gen. Everybody's the best virtual player of all time. If you beat them, it doesn't count. But if they beat you, you suck. And then, at the la and last but not least, uh, your play style takes no skill, but theirs does. And um, and then, you know, so he says, I'll never understand the egos of people develop over a virtual basketball game, but it makes it makes for some really entertaining content, so I'm gonna make it. But look, though, this is my guy. This is why and this is why Mitchell is my guy. Mitchell says, Comp Pro Am, did you just wake up from a 20 year coma? This is everybody on every multiplayer online video game ever. And then he said, uh, I'm 34 and still swear that in the moment I'm the greatest card player ever. And if I die, the person is uh, just using aimbot, and I know I suck. I suck. So like I said, like I don't know, man. It's, it's I be like, that's what I be saying sometimes, bro. I don't know. I think we be in our own heads or we're in our own worlds a little bit too much, bro. The game ain't about you. It ain't about really whoever. Everybody thinks that that's everybody, bro. We be playing online space, talking hella. Shit. We be playing Tiddly Winks online, talking hella. Shit. We be dang playing dog on what we be playing. The chess. You got dudes on chess master, like, bro. You made the wrong move. I'm about to checkmate your. Shit. Like, bro, it's crazy. It's like, look, I get it that, you know, that's how you feel, but it ain't just Comp Pro-Am, brother. It, it ain't just Comp Pro-Am. Matter of fact, it has literally has nothing to do with you or anything. The only thing it's got to do with is that's just how online players play. That's what we do. We're going to sit here and talk. We're going to talk trash. I'm better than you. You ain't nobody better than me. And because we're just pressing buttons, I can feel like that. Now, when you're standing in front of me on the court, and you got to figure out how you're going to play defense on me or something like that. Yeah, you might not be as confident. But look, that's everybody in every game competitively ever. If you don't think you're the best, I don't want you on my team. If you don't think that that dude across from you is complete garbage and you can take advantage of him at every turn, I don't want you on my team. Let me know down in the comment section if I'm right. I want you to feel like you can just do this dude at any point. I should be able to give you the ball and say, hey, bro, do his that's what I want you to do. Do him. That's what I be telling my teammates. Take that shot. He can't guard you. I know my teammates trash in real life. Let me know if y'all do that too. Try to hype y'all teammates up. I be trying to hype them up. I'm like, yo, I know they garbage, but I got to hype them up. I be telling them, bro, this dude can't guard you. I guess it's part of being a good leader too, though. I be like, bro, this dude can't guard you, dude. Take him to the rim. Hype your teammates up. Make them feel like they're the best ever. Because if you don't feel like you're the best ever and that you can get your bucket anytime and if something happened, hey, you didn't play no good defense, I just missed that shot. If you don't feel like that, I don't want you playing with me, period. I don't want nobody that got no doubt in their mind playing with me. Going When we go to battle on that basketball court or the football field or we playing baseball, if you don't feel like the person across from you is complete garbage and you can do him at any time, and manipulate him and if he gets you you just gotta pawn it off on so i don't want to hear it now we know that ain't the truth because i like i said i played against donnell harvey in high school i knew he was better than me but i couldn't play the game like he was better than me you understand what i'm saying and i was like i was like what six four buck sixty six buck eighty max this dude is six seven two forty and he a grown man i had to use what i could use yeah he probably had about 36 maybe 38 he had some stupid numbers and like 60 rebounds or something like that. But hey, I held my own. I had my buckets too. You know, I had my 20 and 15 on like 95 attempts and something like that. Most of them was run outs. I don't know. But anyway, like I said, if you done played against real competition, bro, you already know. Up next, man, last but not least, people talking about, this is what a lot of people are talking about in the community, that the game is this down bad. But I'm here to tell you, they do this every year, so it's not even a big deal. NBA 2K on current gen. For the free, 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 do you love me? Are you grinding? Hey, look, include it in Xbox Game Pass. Only on current gen, though, bro, because you, you can't get it on here. Uh, it's $79 for the uh, Mama Forever Edition, and then for here, it's, it's still $79. And then for the Zion Edition, they only giving you, uh, like, like 15 bucks off something like that 14 bucks off so it's not a real big deal they do this every year i know a lot of people gonna use this as cannon fodder oh my god the game is that down bad bro they give the game away every march or every um every april or whatever they give it a, at the end of march to the end of, beginning of march into april some somewhere in there the game is always free we as content creators actually normally 
look forward to when they get a game for, away for free. Because when they give the game away for free, look at that interior right there that you don't even need. When they give the game away for free, we normally see a spike in content because a lot of people get on, they make new bills and stuff like that. So maybe we're going to have to go back to current gen or something like that, bro, because uh, that's where it's at right now. Uh, if, you know, for some bills and some jump shots and stuff like that. I might do that. If y'all need jump, shot, uh, jump shots for, uh, for, for, for current gen and stuff, man, y'all just let me know. But the real thing is, I just don't want nobody to try to use this as cannon fodder for that because, I mean, the oh-so-coveted NBA 2K20, it was free. I don't know what time it went free, but I got it for free in november i'm not even gonna cap or when it was was it september october yeah so two months after the game or maybe a month after the game when they realized that the sales was kind of low and they started giving out those free codes and stuff i got the game free then so and then i uh, went on um on the other one on 19 i think they gave it away on black friday uh it was 19 dollars or like 30 bucks or something like that it was like half price no it was like three dollars on xbox wasn't it on black friday they did like like 90 percent off it was damn near free on xbox and then like the next two months so look they do this every year that don't, that's no indication of where the game is or anything like that um y'all let me know is current gen really that bad though that it should just be free or whatever and also the last thing i want to talk to y'all about man is this real quick do y'all think I'm going to do a, a whole video on crossplay and stuff like that tomorrow. But do y'all think that 2K could run? This this next gen 2K could run on current gen? Somebody said it a couple of months ago, and I got to apologize to them because I was like, there's no way, there's no way in that it could run. And now that I'm thinking, if they take out this weak, if they take out this weak city that nobody asked for and nobody wanted, I think it could run because there's nothing that I'm seeing on this game other than the, the, you know what I'm saying? Other than the basics, you know what I'm saying? Like how stuff looks and shadowing and reflections and stuff like that. There's nothing that the game is actually doing that couldn't run on current gen. And God forbid that they make the game for current gen also. You know what I'm saying? Like just dumb down the graphics and dumb down, you know, the frame rate and stuff like that. Just make it be 30 frames, but then you can still do everything. You understand what I'm saying? Like maybe that's what they can do and we can get the same edition on both. I need, and, and you know, that then we can have a cross gen and all that. I, I gotta do a more in depth video. That's what tomorrow's video is gonna be about. Is uh, is uh, how did I get 33% and I wasn't even there? I'd have quit the game, bro. Look, I don't just say stuff when it's dumb for me, when it's dumb for other people, bro. Look at this. Look at this. I didn't even go for a contest and he got the falling away contest. Like, that's 33%. What? what is that bro i didn't even put my hand up or nothing i'm literally backing away when he's shooting the ball and they gave him a 33 percent what the actual is that 2k y'all gotta fix that now i understand that he was out of range and he had no business taking that shot but bro 33 percent and i'm backing up what is that come on man maybe maybe the contest system is so complicated that they can't put it on current gen maybe that's what it is I don't know. I just look at it like this. I'm just going to give you all a quick reference and then I'm out of here. If I And don't bail these guys out by saying, man, the service so bad that they, they can barely handle what we're doing. How they going to handle? No, 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 no. F that. We ain't bailing 2K out. We ain't caping for 2K. We ain't doing none of that. We not bailing them out. They should be able to do it. You're getting paid to do a job. They should be able to do it. I don't see why they can't do it. Dumb down the graphics. Imagine if, if Windows was like, Yo, we got this Office 2016. But yes, I do understand that stuff has minimum system requirements and stuff like that. But imagine a PC game, some of these PC games saying, yeah, you got Windows 7, brother. Uh, you can't run that. And and and, there's, and, the, and it just turned over. You know what I'm saying? The generation just turns over. And it's like, well, you can't share files with somebody that's got 16 gigs of RAM because you got 8 gigs of RAM. You understand how crazy that would be? Anyway. We're going to do a very in-depth video on it and all this stuff. But let me know if you see anything in 2K next gen that couldn't be outside of the graphics that couldn't be done in current gen. I don't see it. And I think that we, excuse me, we all should need should start pushing for the next gen, the cross gen and all that stuff. I got a good video coming up for y'all in the morning on it. I got a couple of jump shots and bills for y'all this evening. But uh, other than that, man, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, baby.